Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. A bill has been filed in Oklahoma that would make the Holy Bible the official state book. The Oklahoma House of Representatives completed their bill filing session this week, and that bill was filed by Representative Tammy Townley of Ardmore. Information from Oklahoma Public Affairs shows, a da shows data, actually, from Pew Research Center identifies 79 percent of Oklahomans as Christian. Now, the bill will be considered on February the 7th. Another bill filed would temporarily pause the issuance of commercial medical marijuana licenses until existing facilities are fully in compliance with state law. Representative Rusty Cornwell is behind the bill and says in a, ru says in a rush to roll out the system, many land purchases were in cash and could lead to money laundering and illegal facilities. That bill will also be considered on February the 7th. Now, before we get to other top stories, let's check in with meteorologist Tyler Moore for a look at the weather sunshine this weekend. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, Joe, we do have some warmer temperatures and more sunshine that's going to carry us right through the weekend. For your Friday afternoon, yeah, temperatures still pretty chilly out there below average in the 30s, but we are warming things up through the weekend. Notice we're heading into the 50s on Sunday. That continues into Monday, getting back above our average high, which is normally in the upper 40s across northwest Arkansas. For the River Valley, more of the same above average temperatures towards Sunday into Monday. There is another cold front, though, that is going to drop down our temperatures towards Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So let's talk about that system because it's our next weather maker. Some rain chances arriving uh, later in the day on Monday. And there could even be a light wintry mix across northwest Arkansas. We'll have to watch that for the morning hours on Tuesday. Otherwise, just those cooler temperatures starting to push back in for Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's that extended forecast. Plenty of sunshine through the weekend. 50s on Sunday. Definitely the best day this weekend to get outside and enjoy. Even Monday's looking good with temperatures in the 50s. Again, that cold front arrives Monday night, so that is going to drop our temperatures back down after the 50s. We'll fall back down into the 40s and 30s. Joe. All right, thanks, Tyler. Now, another top headline today, Governor Asa Hutchinson holding a live press conference from the state capitol. Arkansas has surpassed 100,000 active COVID-19 cases. That's a record for the state. The governor made the announcement during a news conference today in Arkansas. He says there is hardened resistance to the vaccine. Doses given remains a concern to me. I just think the confusing messages that we've seen nationally, the debate online, uh, you know, we're slowing down the progress that we've made uh, on uh, our vaccination program. And looking at high hospitalizations, the governor also saying today the Omicron variant is not as severe as Delta, but they are still putting millions into adding more hospital beds across the state and hospitals still being stretched thin by this pandemic. The governor says we could see a case peak next week. That's the indication, but this pandemic certainly is uncertain. Well, those are some of your top headlines on this Friday. You can always catch the news every day at noon or 4, 5, and 6. We'll see you there. Have a great weekend.